Located in Orange County Great Park, Alegria Fresh is one of, if not the first, urban garden located in a city park. Utilizing different forms of hydroponic and vertical farming methods, the one-acre solar-powered farm is completely off the grid and built as a demonstration garden. The idea is to educate, engage, and excite the public with the ability to produce local, great tasting, and fresh produce while conserving resources and reducing transportation shock. Heading up this project is Managing Director Eric Cutter. I've always uh, tried to be what I call earth kind or conscious about all the riches that surround us, but I never really saw myself as a farmer until late. And when I started thinking about that, I said, what would it take to actually bring uh, very nutrient dense, high nutrition food into the city? Is it possible to move food closer to where people live and work, and if so, what would it take? It took a collaboration between the city, local politicians, and the persistent hard work of Tom Larson, who is the manager of farm, food, and landscape at Great Park. We have people come from all over the world saying, wow, we have old areas, can you help us? And we're here to help them. So we want to be the resource, we want to be the model, and we want to be the cheerleaders to get this project and what we're doing here spread throughout the rest of the country. Today, the farm has well over 60 different varieties of produce and herbs, using a combination of both old and new technology. Well, we've got a vertical stacking pot system. That's number one. That's all hydroponic. That uses coconut fiber or coir as the media. We have a horizontal vertical system, which is kind of an oxymoron, but it's a horizontal hydroponic system that uses coconut fiber in bags. We have another system called Garden Socks, which is a very promising system that is actually a polypropylene tube or sock that we fill with our own hybrid compost blend. And we're actually doing a hydro-organic nutrition protocol on it, which is working exceptionally well. Hydroponic, we use, hydroponic nutrients we use are non-petrochemical, naturally occurring nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. They're water soluble, they're very uh, bioavailable to the plants, and we add about 13 trace elements to our hydroponic solution. So hydroponic nutrients can fill a void. Now, our bodies need 90 minerals, including all the traces, to survive. So where does the other 77 come from? That can only be done by live bacteria, fungi, etc. That's what they do in organic soil. So, what we're doing is we're doing a whole vermiculture, composting vermiculture side to our business, developing our own compost teas in order to add back the microbial content, the live matter, the biological activity in the soil that will allow us to create all those other trace elements. Uh, on our vertical systems, about 90 to 92 percent less water, 50 percent less fertilizer, 70 percent less land is required. On the garden sock system we call the Allegria Socks Farm, we're getting about 70% less water usage and 50% less fertilizer. After listening to Eric and his team go over all the benefits and the possibilities for the future, one has to ask, what are the downsides, risks, or potential roadblocks for this movement? Persistence and determination are our only roadblocks. I think uh, we have a lot of that on the farm. I've got two young men here that have uh, hung with me. We work seven days a week shoulder to shoulder and still like each other. It's good hard work and it's important to reconnect people to agriculture and produce. Most people don't realize that their food comes from a farm, especially the younger people. They think it just appears in grocery stores. I'm hoping uh, that we can create a whole new industry with it and uh, I'm hoping that it can take off and you know, you'll see uh, an Alegria truck around every corner. One ongoing question regarding hydroponics is the taste of the produce itself and how it compares to conventional and organic farming. Everything we're growing is exceptional because we can control it. And uh, at the same time, we're growing two to three times as much yield uh, using a lot less space and a lot less water and a lot less fertilizer. So it's starting to make a lot of sense. After speaking with six different individuals at Alegria Fresh, one common theme rose above the rest recognizing the importance of being able to engage with the public on where their food comes from and why it matters. I'm challenged every day. I wake up with an amazing sense of possibility, which I think is probably makes me one of the richest guys in the world because I'm never bored. Of course, I don't get a lot of time off. I don't get to fly fish as much as I used to anymore, but I get to do something that's really important to me, and that is to uh, show people 
how to feed themselves. I mean, I'm actually teaching people to fish now instead of going and catching a fish. People like to say that the stuff they get at the stores, over the counter, is, is medicine. I, I don't think of it as medicine. I think of that as sick care. This is health care right here. You know, this is like the preemptive strike for your immune system. This is the finish line for them. You know, they've, they started with Whole Foods, they went to Sprouts, then they hit the farmer's markets, and then now they can go right to the farm, and uh, that would be ideal for everyone.